Hello guys, what's up? Welcome to the SketchUp Arc Studio. Today we have some new tutorial about the uh, interior rendering in the Enscape SketchUp. So I'm gonna teach you some type of settings very fast and easy. So we have this interior environment in here. First of all, I'm gonna create my camera shot in the Enscape view management. So I'm gonna click F on my keyboard and after that I'm gonna create my camera. So this is the environment we have. So I'm going to turn on the save frame, click on the visual setting, output, and click on the resolution in here. And I'm going to change it to the custom, but with different resolution, about 1080 to 1080 again. I do this work because I want some light and small size render. So I'm going to create view from here. I'm going to adjust my camera a little bit. I think something like that can be really useful. The pitch is about 0 and yaw is about 63 or 60. It depends on you how to change the yaw. If I turn my camera to the left or right, the yaw parameter will be changed. So I'm going to change it to the uh, 63 or 66. It depends on you. I don't want to waste my time on this type of settings, so I'm going to uncheck some position in here. X, Y, Z is your camera coordinate. I'm going to type X about 49.6. The Y is your eye height, so I'm going to type 3.9 about Y parameter. So 3.9. And the Z is the other coordinate of your camera, negative 58. Point 0.3 is good. I don't want to link my render with visual presets, so I'm going to uncheck it. And I don't really like my cat name, so I'm going to change my camera name to the uh, interior render NO number 1. I'm going to uncheck my link and save it as my favorite. So I'm going to press create in here. Now I have interior render number one in this place. So I'm going to open the visual setting in here and I'm going to start my job with the uh, main bar called felt of view. So I'm going to change my FOV in here. Some number about 60 can be really good, but I need my camera adjustment again because it changed a little bit and I must fix it. I'm going to click on the edit camera in this place. I'm going to turn pitch to the zero and the eye is about 67 and other things is good. I'm going to press save in here. Now I'm going to come back to the visual setting. At the rendering quality, I'm going to turn it to the medium quality to see more reflection and shadows in my rendering preview. So. I think uh, this type of light is good, but I want to change it to the uh, some other type of sunlight. Some number about 9 a.m. can be really useful. I need these type of shadows and some brightness inside my room. So I'm going to adjust sun to see more lights of the uh, daylight inside my interior render. So as you can see, I check it in here and play with it. I want to fix it on some type of a special position of the sun. And I think this one is really good. I'm going to click on the visual setting. Exposure is about 54, but I don't want to change it. Auto contrast is on. Always turn the auto contrast on because it controls your shadows and reflections automatically. If I reduce the color temperature, I will have warm render, and if I increase it, I will have cold render. Some normal thick thousand Kelvina is really useful. We don't have any animation, so I'm going to turn motion blur to the zero, and lens flare is a some number about 32 is good. Bloom is zero, Wignate is good, and Chromatic is the zero. Now I'm going to click on the main bar in here and increase the depth of field. So I'm going to change the focal point on this piano, on the girl, or on the women who sit on the piano's chair. It depends on you. I'm going to change it to the women, and I'm going to fix the number about 3.4. Depth of field is about 
some number maybe six percent is really useful in here if i increase the exposure as you can see we will have brighter rendering displays and i suggest to you always use the uh, exposure saturation makes your colors much saturated and vibrance but it depends on you if you want some alive render you can increase it but much carefully so some number about 106 percent is really useful in here atmosphere is about the uh, shadow sharpness if i increase it i will have some hard shadows on my wall and if i decrease it i will have some soft shadows in my environment as you can see so i think uh, it's really good right now and it's really for the render but we have ambient brightness in here ambient brightness helps you to control the inside light with the out lights in the daylight if you decrease it you will have some reflections on your glass and your environment but I suggest to use some number about 56 in all of your renders. The wind is not really useful and we have shadow sharpness in here. Shadow sharpness is about 16%. The skybox is good and output is good. So, now time for the rendering. I am going to hold the screenshot and type my file name interior number 1. And as you can see now our render is ready when i click on it i can see the differences in here shadows is good shadow sharpness is good and quality is nice so i'm going to click on the enscape bar again but this time i'm going to take my render with the ultra quality so i change it to the ultra quality and we have much better reflection and shadow sharpnesses in here i'm going to reset my color temperature reset my saturation and I'm going to decrease my exposure, but it's not really neat now. So I'm going to play with the SM position. Some number about 8.40 AM is really good. So I'm going to use the shadow sharpness in this place. As you can see, we have three leaf shadows on the wall and it's really nice. I'm going to decrease the sun brightness to the 40% and artificial light brightness is about 90%. So this time I'm going to take another render. I think everything is good. I just want to change my focus point on the piano this time. So I'm going to play with the uh, focal point in here. 4 is good and depth of field is about 26%. So I can change it to the, uh, for example, some lower number about 14% too. I'm going to close it. Shift plus if 11 and interior number 2 is ready i'm going to press save in this place as you can see these render have been done for us it's really wonderful and it's really realistic it takes a little bit time it depends on your graphic card and your hardware actuator and system config so now i want to open the uh, first render and second render this is the uh, last render we took and you can see the details on it and this is the uh, first render we have in here you can see the differences between first render with the medium quality and ultra quality like and subscribe us and goodbye